Welcome to this little gem, Lake St. Peter Provincial Park, nestled between Silent Lake and Algonquin Provincial Parks. With only 66 sites, this park is a perfect place for some rest, relaxation, peace and quiet. Come join us. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season four of our park reviews. We hope this helps you when deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Thanks for coming along, Camping with the Coles. Lake St. Peter Provincial Park is a very small park located 30 kilometers south of Whitney, just east of the southern tip of Algonquin Park. The park is on the shores of Lake St. Peter. So the dump station is immediately to the right after you pass the uh, registration gate. It has one dump spot, not threaded, and it has two fill spots. They are side by side, so only one person can be filling at a time, but you can fill uh, either side of your trailer depending on what side your uh, fresh water tank is on. So he came in right here and that's where it's a little confusing because Android Auto had us continuing down this road but you need to turn right in here and go to the park office. Weren't sure where to go here I ended up going right into the dump station and then when I came out of the dump station I had to do an immediate little zigzag here to get in here and it is one way to go around this way and down at this end, very, very difficult to make that turn with our trailer, uh, really tough. Uh, might have been better just to back up all the way from here into our site, but I was able to make it around, come down and backed into our site. This is us, site number 11. It's small, but it's flat and easy to get into. Let's go check out this park. This it, one? It's so small, we don't even need our bikes. It's a walking tour. Let's walk. Lake St. Peter has only one campground for a total of 44 electric and 22 non-electric sites. One comfort station with flush toilets and showers and the laundry facilities. Their washer is $2.50 a load and the dryer is $2 a load. There's a boat launch. There's two beaches. They both go into Lake St. Peter. 
This is the main one in the day use area, nice big sandy beach, and there's a much smaller one in the camping area. There are two hiking trails, the lookout trail and the cabin trail. They call them two trails, but they're basically two loops of one trail. The lookout trail is two and a half kilometers, and the cabin trail comes off of the lookout trail at the top of it, makes it into a uh, four kilometer trail. Two kilometers away is the Hastings Trail. Lake St. Peter is the northern terminus for this 191 kilometer trail. It's open to cyclists, horseback riders, ATV riders, and hikers. It's free for hikers to walk it, but it costs for everybody else. You can rent kayaks and canoes at the main office, and they're stored right down on the main beach. Lake St. Peter is known for lake trout and bass. You can fish from the shoreline, or for best results, head out in a canoe, kayak, or motorboat. For cell phone service, Bell Telus Kudo Virgin Mobile. There's excellent service throughout the park, had no issues whatsoever. I believe, if you look in the background here, there's a uh, tower. I suspect that they probably have uh, an antenna on that tower because uh, no issues with cell service here. The following is sponsored by Ontario Parks. Holiday season is coming. That means it's time for shopping. Yay! Did you know that you can get all the same Ontario Parks gear you saw in the park stores online? All that amazing gear and more can be found at the Ontario Parks website at shop.ontarioparks.com. So if you're looking for a gift for that special camper in your life or something for yourself, check out all the great gear they have. If you missed that park patch when you were at the campground, you can get it here. If the park store you're at was out of the Ontario Parks Crest Buffs, you can get it here. Check out stuff you can find at the online store. Clothing for adults and kids, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, pants, hats, buffs, socks, and mittens. There's patches and stickers, mugs, water bottles, puzzles, passports, scratch maps, coloring books, stuffed animals, towels, bags, and maps. You can also get season permits and gift cards. When you purchase anything from the Ontario Park Store, you're helping to make nature more accessible for Ontarians, and you're protecting it for future generations. Your purchase will help fund projects like protecting the turtles by installing turtle nest coverings, wildlife tunnels, and roadside fencing to keep turtles safe in our provincial parks. It will also help fund the Kids Discovery Program, both online and in the parks. It will also go toward trail and recreation maintenance and the protection of the unique ecosystems, biodiversity, and significant elements of Ontario's natural and cultural heritage. When you're doing your holiday shopping, go online to shop.ontarioparks.com and pick up some great gear and help support our amazing provincial parks. That's right. Time for Cheryl's Lou Review. So there isn't too many uh, vault toilets in this small park, but the ones I've been to have been not too bad. Um, it's just a basic pit vault toilet, um, no plumbing involved. Um, there's hand sanitizer on the outside, that's it. And there's a woman's trash garbage little can in, in, in the inside. Um, the odors aren't too bad. Just remember to always put the uh, seat lid down after your business to keep the odors down and dump your dishwater down the vault toilet as well. And that helps prevent smells. Um, with that being said, I think I'll give them a flower. Lake St. Peter is a really nice lake to paddle around. Lots of little coves and inlets to explore. And it's really nice if you want to check out all the cottages. Most of the perimeter of the lake are cottages. So uh, we kind of like to go along and check out the cottage and see what might have been or what might be.
woman out. Come join me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very <So> natural. <laughs> Okay. Which way? This way or this way? Or that way? Which way do you want to go? I don't know. Should we check out the cabin? Wow. I don't know. That's an extra. It double. makes it four kilometers instead of two and a half, so it only adds a kilometer and a half. Right. We may as well do it. Uh. Cabin trail. I'm stranded. A castaway, and I'm now sure of no stranger in this country. I'm always in bloom for you. Always in bloom. Always in bloom for you. So this is a, a new app I just learned about. It's called Merlin. And uh, the extent, Cheryl, the extent of our bird knowledge. Is Cinderella birds and caca birds. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. We don't know many birds at all. So we learned about this app and we thought maybe we'll learn a little bit more about birds. So it's called Merlin and uh, it can just listen and it uh, hears the birds and uh, tells you what kind of bird it is, shows mm -hmm. you a picture of it, and you can learn a lot more about the birds. So maybe in the future, it won't just be Cinderella birds. And caw, caw birds. And caw, caw birds. <laughs> Let's go oh, baby. Oh, boy. Come on, on out, baby. only one out. Yeah, only one out. Snake eyes, come on, snake eyes. <laughs> one and four, yeah. Walk. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. You good. So, don't, no, let me do it. So he goes here, he comes home, yeah. he goes there. So put him yeah. home. And then this guy goes here, and we get. There you go, yeah! Oh, All right! Go. I hope that this three to four. will end up taking four the. Four and three. Three and a four. Triple! Oh, oh boy, Cheryl. Three. Oh, baby. Who's your mama? Wait. Okay. Two and a six. Six and a two. Two and a six, strike out. Oh. Four and a six, four and a six, strike out. Yeah, baby! Are you kidding? Our base is loaded! west of the park is the very small community of Lake St. Peter and at the outskirts of that is West Pines Park Resort and it is a nice place to pick up some Kawartha Lakes ice cream and you know how we love our ice cream. Mm, strawberry shortcake.
Well, it's time again for Cole's Notes for Lake St. Peter Provincial Park. This is a tiny little park with uh, only 66 sites. Yes, tiny, on the most part, tiny sites in a tiny park. But it has a lake. That, a big uh, lake. Yeah, John said it's the biggest little lake. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he said, biggest little lake. Because when you're looking out at the lake, it, it looks like an okay size lake, but then when you go paddling, you keep rounding the next curve and rounding the next curve and it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's pretty busy lake. There's a, lo a lot of cottages on the lake, which I d didn't think there would be. Yeah, if uh, <coughs> like, like this is cottage country where we are right now. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a wilderness paddle, this isn't the place. I really liked the beach here. I was surprised that it reminded me a lot of the Bonachere, but just a fraction of the size. Yeah, it's very similar because it has trees right on the beach. Yeah, all the pine trees and nice sandy beach. Yeah, so you don't have to uh, bring an umbrella or anything. You can sit in the shade or you can sit in the sun. You've got your choice. Yeah, fun for the kids. Mm -hmm. So there isn't really a whole lot to do in this park, but it's just a nice, quiet, quaint little park. Yeah, but the location that the park is in is ideal because we're only about 30 kilometers from Algonquin Park. And with your mm -hmm. park pass... You can go into Algonquin and take advantage of everything that Algonquin has to offer. That's right. So if I was staying here for a few days, I would definitely be doing that, heading into Algonquin. Some of the activities, such as uh, the logging museum, probably closer to Lake St. Peter than they are to other parts of Algonquin. That's right. Um, also, this is like a sister park to Silent Lake Provincial Park. It's about mm, 60 kilometers away, but uh, that's another option you have. You can go check out that park. Mm -hmm. So we did actually do some biking just outside of the park and around the lake. Yeah, just on the roads. Yep. Um, we did a, a not too bad hike. We did a four kilometer hike. That's mm -hmm. the only uh, trail in the park. Yep. It's a, it's a lookout hike. Um, it's a so-so lookout. A lot uh, of incline. Yeah, a lot. It's a, it's a steep one. Yep, it's a bit of a rugged hike. <laughs> um, and then the... Uh, old cabin that was up there oh, that was left. yeah that wasn't much of anything to see but <laughs> but it's yeah. a hike nonetheless mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the staff were really nice here and welcoming when we first arrived that was nice to see yep and we saw them out working all the time and they are quick to clean a site when people are gone uh, we, we really like the quaint feeling of this park because it is so small uh, it's there's, quiet. No, there's no partiers or yeah, anything. there's it's no just... bustling activity or anything. It's just laid back, mm -hmm. and because it's so small, everything's close. You walk to everything. We are just a very short walk to the beach. We can carry our paddleboard or kayaks down to the beach, or if we want, we can drive to the beach still. But it is very close. And Bancroft is close by if you want to go into town. What is it? Twenty minutes or yep. a half hour? 20 minutes. There's a Kawartha Dairies there for ice cream, mm -hmm. but there's also one just uh, three and a half kilometers from here in the town of Lake St. Peter. Yeah. West Pines <coughs> Park Resort, I think it's mm -hmm. called. We mentioned it uh, earlier in the video. But uh, yeah, so there is stuff to do in the area and uh, we really did enjoy this park. This is kind of the last park and a big string of parks we've been doing mm -hmm. for July and August. And uh, this was a great park to wind down on. So, in terms of a rating for this park. I was just gonna say, it doesn't have oh, the visitor center, right. it doesn't have dog beach, it doesn't have playground, like it doesn't have most things, it's just very bones. Yeah, bare bones type yeah. thing. Yeah. But nice. Yeah. Like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend it. So in terms of rating, because it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, uh, but it is a really nice park, mm -hmm. we're gonna give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half it is. There it is, seven and a half. So, like we said, this is the last in a big string of parks that we've done. We did our seven parks in July. This is our four parks in August. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little break for uh, couple a weeks. couple of weeks. We'll but for you... Heading to Balsam Lake Provincial Park next. Right. You're going to see that next week at Balsam Lake Provincial Park. Mm -hmm. So, until then, happy camping, and we'll see you. Bye. Bye. We filmed all the footage for this video about two months ago in the middle of August. And now I'm just sitting down to do the video edit for this, and I'm looking at all the video footage. Well, lo and behold, I found a piece of footage that I didn't know I had. Turns out I forgot my GoPro at our friend's site, at Jamie and Kelly's site, and just forgot it for about 10 minutes, went back, picked up my GoPro, 
and uh, never thought anything of it. I just started doing the edit and I came across this footage. I just thought I'd show it to you. I found it a little funny. Uh, Jamie has never operated a GoPro before, so he's trying to figure it out. And uh, they just made a, a little parody. So enjoy. Hi, hello. I'm Kelly. Welcome to Camping Entertaining with Kelly. When you have guests coming over to your campsite, you need to have very good snacks. Put on your prettiest apron, take out your prettiest camping dishes, color coordinated, and make sure you have lots of yummy snacks. Come on inside, I'll show you what I have. This is the finest no-name chocolate I could find. Two flavors, and to help the guests know what's what, milk chocolate is the small squares, double square has nuts in. Now we're not big drinkers. However, wine gums satisfy everyone. And by adding a small serving spoon, it just takes it up to a whole new level. Finally, don't forget the popcorn. And as a special seasonal treat, come have a look in my fridge. Oh, there they are, camping with the coals. They're coming over. Yes, beautiful cherries, keeping it healthy. Now, they're staying chilled so that when our guests come over, we will be all ready. Thank you for joining Entertaining Camping with Kelly. Bye-bye.